What's going on, guys? This is Dan and Josh here. What up? With uh, gonna do a product review on a Mag Daddy Performance LS Supercharger Adapter Kit to make your North Star 4.4 Supercharger fit on this LS here. So a lot of you guys don't know is in 2009 part of the GM bailout was they ceased production of the North Star and a lot of people do the LSA swaps on these on these 6.2 or on these 6.0s, 5.3s, 4.8s, whatever. The issue with that is that unless you have rectangular port heads you have to run an adapter. We are supposed to do a drum roll on this thing. Drum roll. There you go. <laughs> so anyways you got this supercharger here that came on the STS-V and the XLR-V. And GM had made 1,600 of these too many. So they quit making the North Stars and they, I guess they got further along with the superchargers than they did with the North Stars. So now there's 1,600 of these blowers floating around with no engines to go on. And my boy Josh here picked this up for about 520 shipped. Yep. And I picked one up. His is brand new. We took it apart because why not? And um, I picked one up for the Camaro for 420 shipped and it was used. Which, whatever. I'll, I'll take a used one. So looking at the Mac Daddy performance parts. We got some really nice billet machined parts here. Oh, these are one piece. Nice. So nice and shiny. I think these, yeah, they come apart. There's a bolt hole there. Mm -hmm. And then it gives you all the gaskets, everything else that you need. You got your intake gaskets. These looks like they just snap right onto the intake. And then you got your North Star gaskets. And then you got your LS gaskets between the the two adapters. So to make the North Star supercharger work on your LS, obviously shout shouty thick. She's about eight and a half nine inches tall and that's where I'm measuring from here just talking with the guy that makes the brackets and little no unknown fact is that this blower is actually bigger than an LSA so I think the LSA is a 1.9 and this thing is a 2.0 borderline 2.1 the only downfall is that your inlet is back here it's pretty much a GTP supercharger you would find on your old front wheel drive Grand Prix on steroids with an intercooler. The good news is it looks like you got plenty of room back here to extend an elbow. Um, I'm going to try to put one on a Camaro. Try being the key word. See what that does. So we're going to get this going here and then we will check back with you guys later and show you the installed uh, product.